And welcome back into the Bill Seedorf Gymnasium as we get you set for West Delaware versus Solon Wrestling right here on KMCH as we thank Dennis Robertson back at the studios tonight of KMCH for getting us on the air as uh, we had some technical difficulties earlier, but Dennis doing a great job down there keeping us on the air tonight, so we appreciate that. Dennis, as we are back to action, as we've got Will Wanger up against Lance Evans, the top-ranked wrestler in Class 2A at 220 pounds. Evans up 2-1 to one over Wanger right now with 130 left to go in this first period. This is the first match of this dual meet as Wanger starts it for the Hawks. And, Jamie, this is going to be just a little bit different than that last duel. Solon has a full lineup, and they've got, uh, they've got some quality individuals again. And they're starting off right here with top-ranked uh, and undefeated Lance Evans, 7-0. And, oh. and uh, he uh, stepped into the rankings there that he was uh, highly ranked to start the season. And then uh, I think he's got a bad knee, a bad right knee. And uh, he had to take some time off between football and the start of the wrestling. So he's back to action right now, and he's picked up his third takedown with a high crotch on Will Winger. And uh, right now Will Winger's got to tie his hands up and keep his feet moving. You can't become a sitting target for somebody that's as explosive as Evans. There's an ankle pick by Evans as he sets Winger on his backside, covers his hips up, and goes up now 8-3. to three. So uh, we are seeing why uh, Lance Evans, very physical at weight class 220, uh, we are seeing why uh, Evans is highly ranked here as he is having his way with uh, Will Winger right now with his fifth takedown. It's now 10-4. to four. So Evans trading 2-for-1 uh, right now. 23 seconds left to go in the first period. So You know, I'd like to go back and look because I know there was some close matches last year with uh, Lance Evans and Jason Goble. I know he gave Goble everything he wanted last year. Is, uh, he's tough, and there's a reason he's ranked number one is he's looking for the fall here with eight seconds left. Yeah, he's got a nice butcher on Winger. He reached underneath and grabbed that right arm and took that right arm across the face of Winger, picked up a butcher, and he's going to pick up three. It's now 13-4 to four at the end of the first period. So... Uh, Lance Evans, 7 0, undefeated, ranked number one in class 2A. And Winger's going to defer over to Evans, and let's see where Evans decides to go. Probably going to choose down. And uh, that's exactly what he's going to do. So Winger will have his work cut out for him up on top, trying to ride, trying to ride Evans. Evans comes with a long switch to start it and picks up two on the reversal. He's now up 15 to 4. And, you know, if you're Will Winger right here, you want. You, if you're going to give up bonus points, give up the technical fall, but not the fall, Jamie. Yeah, and that's what you, you got to really work at that right now. If you're Like you said, if you're Will Wenger, you don't want to give up the fall because you never know. Like We've talked about it a bunch of times. You know, it, it, a dual meet could come down to one point, and that point could be the difference between a fall and a tech fall. Well, you're exactly right. And, you know, uh, the way some of the duels at West Delaware has wrestled this year, some tight ones especially, one point is going to make a huge difference. And if you can... Uh, there's a escape by Winger. Evans is gonna Evans is gonna set up a double leg, drive Winger across the double leg, pick up two. It's now 19 to four in favor of Lance Evans. 109 left to go. Just underway here. Weight class 220 is the starting spot for this duel. Sol and Spartans again were ranked in the first poll, and I think they were eighth or ninth, and they, they dropped out of the rankings. Now they've got some people he uh, healthy, and uh, Lance Evans now with a nice bar arm on Will Winger. He scooped underneath the bar arm, went around the head and threw Winger on his back. And again, here's what you just talked about, Jamie. You don't want to give up the fall here. There's the fall. Just as we say that, gives up the fall in 3 minutes and 20 seconds. So Winger will lose by fall in 3.20. So that will put the Spartans up on the board early with 6, making the score 6-0. to zero. And Logan Linderbaum is ranked number eight here for Solon. He is 14 and two, and he will take on Rich Heverin, who is now 12 and six. So, uh, now these are two peas in a pod right here. I'll tell you what, if you put them side by side, both about the same height, they're both heavy legged and heavy hipped and barrel chested. So uh, we'll see what happens here. Who can get the best of who? I'm sure these two butted heads on the football field, Jamie, Heverin, a very good football, a very good football player. There's a nice snap and spin by Heverin. Let's see if he can pick up two on the edge of the mat. And Linderbaum finds the edge. Boy, that was nice quickness by Richie Heverin. He's got, he's got some quick feet there, Jamie. Yeah, and I tell you what, 
You know, how, how important was Richie Heveron's first half of the season, giving him some confidence? You know, he comes in here uh, his first time ever wrestling, and he comes in and he's got himself um, a, an 11-6 and six record in his first year wrestling. So that confidence is going to be huge go moving forward here for Richie Heveron. Well, exactly right. And, you know, if uh, somebody gets hot, especially at heavyweight, uh, we, saw, we saw Richie beat that heavyweight from, from uh, Davenport Assumption at the... Uh, he beat that heavyweight from Assumption at the uh, Bob Murphy invite. And I'll tell you what, uh, he's capable. There's a takedown by Linderbaum and a quick stand-up by Hever, and it's now 2-1. to one. So um, you're seeing some great action here by two agile and mobile 285-pounders. Again, quick feet, quick feet, very strong upper bodies. Hever covered with the staggered stance, leading with that right leg, and Linderbaum likes to stay in that square stance where both feet uh, both feet are even across. There's an ankle pick by Linderbaum, got him deep on it, and he dumped Heverin to his back. That was a very, very good ankle pick as he caught Heverin sitting flat-footed, went to a collar tie, and then picked up the, uh, picked up the ankle, drove Heverin across it for the two-point takedown. Heverin comes right back to his feet, splits the hands of Linderbaum, scores one on the escape. It's now four to two with 18 seconds and left. And Linderbaum, you said he comes in here at 14 and two on the season. His two losses, or to Tyler Yankovic from Makoka Valley, who's highly ranked in Class 1A. And uh, his other loss was to Landon Carney from Pleasant Valley. So I tell you what, a nice job here. Uh, a, a good season so far and some good quality opponents here for uh, Logan Linderbaum. And let's see whose choice it's going to be. It's going to be Linderbaum's choice, and he's going to go right to uh, the bottom position. So we'll see if uh, Rich Heverin... He's got a good butcher series from on top. Let's see if he can work that. But I'll tell you what, that's a long switch. Quick sit out, turn it into a switch. Picks up a two-point reversal. So now Linderbaum goes up 6-2. to two. Now an escape by Heverin, 6-3. to three. So we're going to go back to work on our feet. So uh, good movement by both, uh, again, both wrestlers. Linderbaum coming in here ranked 8 in class, uh, class uh, 2A. Lance Evans, who just pinned Will Winger is ranked number one and uh going down the list there our next featured match is going to be at 120 louis Gennitis, 13 and 2 and then a very good match at 152 setting up with trevor nelson who's 14 and 2 so solon solon having one two three four seniors in their lineup four seniors in their lineup and uh lots of juniors so they've got a they've got a good future as does the, the uh, solon spartans 110 left to go. Again, pummel position by both these guys. A lot of collar ties, a lot of pushing and shoving. Again, Heaven leading with that right leg. Again, Jamie, if you're Richie Heaven, you just want to be patient right here. You don't want to set up a bad shot. You don't want to force anything because it's going to be your choice in the third period. That's right. And you know, he's he's doing a great job and he's he's in this match. He's down three points. He's you know, he's an escape and a takedown away from tying this thing in the third period, but yeah, I tell you what, if you find a good shot here in the last 40 seconds of the second period, uh, if you're Richie Hevron, it, make it a good shot and try to get a takedown. Over on the JV match is Zach Meyer winning by a fall with a nice cradle. So uh, Zach uh, stepping out on the mat, his senior. I can't believe he's a senior already. That's the way a lot of them are. You know, we, they just started. So Hevron's going to give up another takedown here to Linderbaum. But I tell you what, Richie Hevron, you talked about conditioning in that match with uh, Brent Lammers in that last uh, against Zymet in that last duel. You know, Richie Heveron still looks fresh. It, he hasn't spent it, if uh, they had riding time like they do in college. Uh, he might have 20 seconds. Does Linderbaum because Richie's done a great job of continuing to move around and get up after those takedowns. Yeah, he's done a great job, and uh, I tell you what, uh, he forced a he forced a shot on that. He's not afraid to shoot a double. He forced a shot there in that double uh, on, on Linderbaum. He was just a little bit too far away. There's a one-point escape now, 8-5. to five. So right in the mass, down three. You've got to set up, find a shot that's going to work for you. you no, know, maybe a throw by or a slide by. And uh, see if he can snap and spin. See if he can pick up a see if he can pick up a shot or two, pick up a single, maybe a duck under. But again, uh, Linderbaum is not giving him anything to work with at all. He's just staying in that square stance and content to tie up to the head of Richie Heverin. And Heverin's trying to force the action right here now. 
uh, trying to push and shove Linderbaum, trying to work him a little bit to get him out of position. 118 left to go. Our dual meet score is 6 0 after one. Lance Evans with a fall over Will Winger in three minutes and 20 seconds. And Hever now trying to get the Hawks on the board against a very, very stubborn Logan uh, Linderbaum. Linderbaum looking at the, uh, he's a junior. One, two, three, four, five juniors into the lineup for Solon. So uh, they've got uh, something to uh, build on in the future. Under a minute to go now. Ah. Uh, there's another double by Linderbaum. He got him deep on that. That was a solid takedown right there, Jamie, by a good heavyweight. Yeah, and I tell you what, Richie Hevron quickly back to his feet here. 10-6, 35 seconds left to go. And I tell you what, he needs to stick around here, try to get a takedown. And, uh, you know, he's, he's not giving up a major right now, and that's huge against the eighth-ranked wrestler in the state. Yeah, if uh, Linderbaum was ranked eighth, uh, Richie Hevron's doing a great job staying with him, 10-6. Again, that's got to be a good confidence builder uh, for the senior. Again, no varsity competition before this season started. And I'll tell you what, big shoes to fill is Richie Hevron. And right now, he's getting the job done. He's going to lose this match 10 to 6, but I'll tell you what, against number 8 ranked Logan Linderbaum, uh, Jamie, that's a, that's a solid effort by the senior from yeah, West Delaware. It certainly was, and you know, and, and he worked hard in that match. It's not like he laid around on the bottom underneath and tried not to get pinned. He, every time he got taken down, he got right back up, and that's, that's what you like to see out of a senior and a kid who's coming in here and continuing to build confidence here. And losing by a simple decision is all, and uh, that is huge. You only give up three. It's now 9-0 to zero in favor of the Solon Spartans, and we're going to weight class 106 now where Austin Howell will take on freshman Joe Lovan. So again, we've got two freshmen going at it, and here's the opportunity for Austin Howell to get himself, on the, uh, get himself in the win column against this uh, freshman from Solon. There's a nice single by Howell. He's got the leg of Lovan picked up, and he throws Lovan to his back. He's going to step over and put the double spur in. Might be a fall here as he's got Lovan in trouble. Lovin's going to roll out of it, and now a reverse half Nelson by Howell. That's a five-point move by the freshman from West Delaware. That's a great job coming out because, you know, he got pinned in that first duel. It would be real easy for him to come out and get discouraged after that, especially, you know, he had some tough matches there in the first half of the season. But for him to come out here and still tr continuing to work to get better, coming out being tough on getting that takedown, now being tough on top, you, you got to like what you see coming moving forward here with Austin Howell. Yeah, that's going to be huge as the season progresses. Is to you know stay stay positive, keep working, trying to get better, and uh, he's done that exactly. 108 left to go, first period. He's up 5-0. There's a stand up by Lovin, and uh, he's going to pick up a one point escape. It's now five to one. Let's see if Austin Howell can get back in on that single. Lovin now with the staggered stance comes with a hard collar tie. Howell's going to snatch that single and this time not get it picked up. He needed to, needed to pick it up with two hands. He tried to get it with one, and Lovin this time put a little weight on it. There's a hard collar tie by Howell. He's snapping ahead of Lovin, and Lovin with the retie on Howell. 37 seconds. There's a nice double by Howell. He took it away from his head this time and picked up the two. That's what you like to see right there. Yeah, it really is. And, you know, him coming out, getting that second takedown in this period is... Uh, is huge and you know he's got a seven point or six, seven to one lead here with uh, 20 seconds left to go in the first he's he's got to keep but he's you know you can't quit here you got to keep moving moving up and uh, trying to get that fall here if you're uh, Austin Howell and he's got a power half Nelson on Lovin and I tell you what he's cranking that over let's see if he can dump Lovin to his back he's got five seconds to do it the freshman from Solon is having trouble right now and oh boy oh boy nice job by Austin Howell that gets a standing ovation by the West Delaware coaching staff there. That's some physicality with that power half Nelson loading that thing up, and he kept the pressure on and just ran out of time. Had plenty of real estate, but ran out of time. So there's going to be a one-point escape by Howell as he picks down, and uh, we're going back to work on your feet. Now, if you're Austin Howell, you want to keep attacking low level. Don't do anything that's going to get you thrown to your back. Lovins gave him a lot of straight line pressure. Front headlock by Howell. Let's see if he can pick up the two. He does. Maybe he's going to pick up more. He reaches through the legs. He's got a front headlock on Howell or on uh, Lovin. He's going to pick up the two on the takedown. And now he's going to try to load that power half Nelson up again. He's got a, on a clinic here. He's got a half Nelson with an inside wrist. Could be the fall right there. As he's teeing out. And Lovin, the freshman from Solon, is trying to roll through. 
Now Howell steps over the leg. He's got to be careful right there. Like to see him tee out in this position. And he's going to get off the legs this time. And he's going to try to load that half Nelson up one more time. He's got three already. Now he's got the half Nelson. Let's see if he can tee out this time. Logan's going to roll through. He needs to put a reverse half in and tee out much better there position. There's the fall. Nice job. Nice job. Three minutes and four seconds. Austin Howe. I'll tell you what, that's uh, what you like to see out of the freshman right there, Jamie. That was a nice job. Three takedowns. Use that power half, Nelson, to perfection, and uh, scored the uh, scored the fall. Puts the Hawks on the board, nine to six now. Still in favor of, of the Spartans after three. And we're going to weight class 113. And we've got Patrick Woods taking on one of the seniors from Solon. This would be Bailey Redlinger. So Woods made short work of Bo Bowman. Let's see if he can make short work of Redlinger here. There's a two point takedown by Woods. That's just a snap and go behind. Oh, nice, wow. let's Redlinger go. Picks up one, and now the two, two point takedown by Woods. He's back in deep, he steps in and turks that left leg, cross face the far shoulder. He's gonna pick up uh, back points off of that. All right, we're gonna double up here, Jamie. I got you, I'm ready for it. Oh, I knew you would be. So we're gonna have side by side matches here. This will be a good match here coming up at 120, 120 pounds. We're going to have Louis Ganita for Solon taking on Owen Ward. Patrick Woods now goes to headlock finish. Let's see if he can get the fall. He's got 109 to settle in. And Redlinger doing a good job playing Gumby, keeping those shoulders up. We have coach, uh, the coaching staff there. Uh, meeting at the head table. Not sure what they're talking I don't know if about. Coach Voss wants to do this or not because, you know, I'll make this dual meet go. I think that'll, I mean, this dual meet would be over in a short amount of time. Yeah, I think they got to watch the time just a little bit. There's that double chicken ring by Woods. He's got Redlinger stacked up. There's the fall right there in 125. Woods is going to win by a fall in 125. That's going to give the Hawks six more. So now they take their first lead. 12 to 9, and we're going to move Owen Ward and Louis Ganita to the uh, mat to our left. The all black mat with the orange rings on it. Louis Ganita is 13 and 2, and he was ranked in uh, he was ranked in an early season poll. I'm not sure if he's still ranked or not, Jamie, but uh, I don't believe so. <clears throat> We'll yes, he is, eighth. He's ranked number eight also. All right. Number eight ranking, Louis Ganita taking on Owen Ward. Owen Ward is a sophomore, so uh, it's going to be a good match, a good test for the young sophomore from West Delaware. Weight class 120. I'll tell you what, uh, Louis Ganita is put together for a 120-pounder. So... Uh, I think we're going one match at a time. There's a shot by Ward. He's in deep. Going to be a scramble situation. He's got his head. He shot a double. He's got his head caught in between the legs of Ganita. Ganita's going to roll out in a scramble position. And Ganita's going to come out on top. Boy, oh boy. What a great shot by Ward. He got in deep. He got his head caught between the legs of Ganita. And tried to elevate. Tried to elevate and come through. And uh, Ganita grabbed onto his ankle and kept him from finishing up the shot. Now cross body right by Ganita ties up the left hip of Owen Ward. Ward kicks that free now, and Ganita's got an inside wrist on the left. Now he throws a cross body right back in on the left. Hard cross face from left to right. Now a power half Nelson by Ganita, and Ward does a nice job keeping his head up and fighting that half Nelson off. 50 seconds left to go first period. Number eight ranked Louis Ganita. It seems like he's been around forever too, Jamie. <laughs> from uh, he, Solon. A he's a junior. Jeez, just a junior. He's just a junior, so uh, he's got he's ambitions. Tough. He is tough. He's got ambitions of uh, uh, doing some things as the season progresses. Yeah, he really does, and, you know, he comes in here. He's ranked eighth. Uh, I tell you what, he's had he's had a pretty good season here in, in his junior campaign as he uh, comes into tonight's action. Comes into tonight, Louis Ganita does, with a 13-2 and record 
And you know, you know, Solon Solon get is in a couple of tough tournaments where they they face a couple good kids. So you know, Louis Ganida he's he's lost two matches uh, so far this season. But I tell you what, they're against quality opponents. As he lost to Chase Leonard from Crestwood and uh, lost to Kyle Briggs, the coach's son, down at Sea Rapids Jefferson. So his two losses are to good opponents. Well, you're exactly right, and he's got that cross body right back in on the left side of Owen Ward. And uh, tried a half, power half Nelson. Ward did a nice job fighting it off. Ganita got Ward tipped on that right shoulder, but could not get any points out of it. So it's going to be uh, Ward's choice. He's going to defer over to Ganita. Ganita, no hesitation. He goes right down and gets set. There's the second set. There's the whistle. Ward's going to ride the left side. And he's going to come with a hard chop and tie up that left arm of Louis Ganita. Let's see if he can. Uh, it's only 2-0. to zero. Owen Ward is right in this match. Comes with that uh, hard spiral ride. Ah. Nice hand control by Ganita as he peels the, peels the hand off around his waist. Sit out turning by Ganita. He's Get on top of up. Ward now. He's going to pick up a two-point reversal. He caught it, Jamie. He kept his head down, and that made it easy for Ganida to uh, gonna, gonna pick up that a couple. Behind. I think he just got a one count. I'm not sure, but uh, just a little cheap tilt there by Ganida. He got a one count as all as he exposed the back of Owen Ward. So it's 4-0 here, 120 left to go in the second period. The Hawks lead the dual meet 12-9 as we started with Will Wenger losing by fall to top-ranked Lance Evans. Richie Heveron lost 10-6 to to eighth-ranked Logan Linderbaum, and then the Hawks Followed with two falls, first one from Austin Howell in three minutes and four seconds, and Patrick Woods in one minute, 25 seconds to put the Hawks up 12 to nine. And once again, Owen Ward doing a nice job underneath, but I'll tell you what, he's gonna have to, he's gonna have to keep moving. Gennett is doing a nice job working pinning combinations. He's got a chicken wing on the left side of Owen Ward. He's gonna try to scoop a, a wing on the right side and double him up. Ward's gotta do a nice job of keeping those elbows in and keeping those palms forward so he doesn't get thrown to his back. 35 seconds left to go again, second period. Ganina up only 4-0. Uh. He's got that double chicken wing locked up right now. And you know, it was only a matter of time, Jamie, when somebody's working That's that tight. many different pinning combinations. There's the fall. Three minutes and 28 seconds. In 3:28, Owen Ward will lose by a fall. So that'll make the score 15 to 12 now in favor of the Solon Spartans. And we got another, another interesting match here with Sam Phillips taking on Trevor Yar. Trevor Yar is also a junior, and I think he's been in the Solon Spartan lineup since he was a freshman. So uh, uh, Sam Phillips trying to improve his record. Phillips is 14 and 2 now. He'd like to make it 15 and 2. And Jamie and a in a mere uh, 36 hours from now, we're going to be at uh, Benton Community, and that uh, match there is going to be quite a dogfight. Yeah, it certainly is, and I think now we're going to move up to two mats. So Sam Phillips is going to pick up a takedown. Maybe. He's behind the arms. That's two. Now we're going to move up, and we're going to see... See uh, Connor Wickman up at 132 pounds as he's going to be taking on Cole Fritz and you know had Cody Fritz in the lineup a couple years ago a tough wrestler for Solon so if uh, Cole Fritz is any anything like uh, Cody it's he's going to be tough here but Connor Wickman looking for his first match here of the night. Sam Phillips up two to one now as Trevor Yar picks up an escape, and uh, Phillips, what I like about what he's doing, he's really working that head. There's a nice high crotch by, uh, by uh, Yar, got him deep on it. And just a, just a quick takedown here by Connor Wickman, just a little snap single, and now he's going to dive in as he give, gives Yar, or excuse me, Fritz, a one-point escape, and he's back in on a double leg, but we'll go off the edge of the mat here. Nice. With 148 left to go in this first period. Yeah, you're going to have to uh, yeah, work on your flexibility. Right. We've got two clocks going right now. And here's a double leg takedown by Wickman once again, and he just about caught Fritz on his back, so it's going to be 4-1. to one. Wickman is going to cut him loose. Try to cut him loose as Fritz not coming up. There he's going to get the one-point escape. I don't think he's giving it. There he's finally giving it to him, hasn't he? Uh, Did he give him the one-point escape? Not on the board yet. I don't think either one of them are on the board. There's another take They did down. give him a one and a two-point takedown, so it's six. It should be, should be six, six to two. Should be six to two. They've just got four to one up on the board, Jamie. 
Sam Phillips doing a nice job. He's got a turkey in on the left leg of Trevor Yar. He goes cross face from right to left shoulder, and he's picking up some back points. That's just a very nice job from the senior from West Delaware, being very physical. He's going to pick up three near fall. He's, he will go up 7-1 to one right now. And uh, Sam Phillips, very, very aggressive tonight. And I'll tell you what, you like to see that out of, out of your seniors. As Connor Wickman's up, 6-2 to two as, we're gonna, as this first period comes. To, there, oh, there's 55 seconds left. The Towboy's out already. <laughs> the Towboy comes out with 55 seconds left. Uh, so we're going to get him back over there as it should be 6-2. to two in favor of Connor Wickman. And now Connor Wickman's gonna run, lock up a chicken wing on the right side, looking to run it here. As he's looking for that double wing here. And now he's gonna suck Fritz back. And now he's gonna go reverse half Nelson and looking for the fall here is Connor Wickman. And he could get it, Jamie, as he's got Fritz fairly flat. Over on the farm mat, there's the inside stand-up by Sam Phillips. Oh, what a scramble. Phillips comes out of the scramble the for two-point reversal. Wickman in and one minute, 44 seconds. 44. A nice job by Connor Wickman as Sam Phillips on the far mat is picking up near fall points. He's going to get three. He already leads it 7-1 to one here as the Hawks will take an 18-15 to 15 lead in this dual meet. Sam Phillips came out of that scramble. I'm telling you what, uh, there's the foul right there. 337, Sam Phillips winning by a fall in 337. That's going to give the Hawks six more. It's now 24 to 15 in favor of the West Delaware Hawks. On mat number one in front of us, we've got Bo Vasky taking on Trevor Haight. And on the far side, at weight class 145, we've got Tim Tutton taking on the freshman Grayson Dahl. So, uh, Jamie, Tim Tutton looked pretty good as physical-wise at 152. He looks even better at 145. Yeah, he really does. And, you know, this, I think this will help him being at a weight where he's, he's more comfortable. And that, that'll really help him here as he's going to pick up a takedown real quick on that far side. Yeah, you're a senior wrestling a freshman, so you just kind of want to get after it. And... Uh, you know, Tim Tutton is very explosive on his feet. And uh, we talked earlier about Tim Tutton. To make him, a, he's a great wrestler, to make him an excellent wrestler, pacing himself. Has a tendency to go out, just just get after it. And, uh, and, and I think now that he's down at 145 pounds, that he... Uh, He's actually he's gonna he's gonna look a lot better here just because you know he, he's lighter he's wrestling guys that uh, are light where he's where he's you know where he could be stronger as uh, Bo Vasky getting locked up in a throwing position here and he's looking looking for that little Tony Ramos whip over here as it, these two wrestlers going at it as Bo Vasky taking on Trevor Haight here and they're they're both wanting to go upper body here. As Vasky's in, he's going to double leg and take Hate to his back. So he's going to pick up a two-point takedown. Hate working the edge of the mat, no near fall. And just a two-point takedown there for Bo Vasky, and he leads it 2-0 here with 41 seconds left to go in the first period. Tim Tutton and Grayson Dahl, it's still 2-1. to one. Tutton was in on another deep shot but ran out of real estate. Now he's in on a single, nice single. He sits Dahl to his backside, picks up two. That was a nice job by Tutton. Started with a high crotch, cut across to a double. That was a nice switch off. Four to one now. The Hawks are on the move here now, Jamie. The freshman from uh, Solon, Grayson Dahl, will score an escape. And I think Tim Tutton just kind of let him go once he got to his feet. And Bo Vasky's got double chicken wing locked up here as Haight tries to get away. Now just he loses the left arm of Haight. He's going to try to run the single wing here as Bo Vasky, as the towel boy is out here. Ten seconds left to go in this first period, and I don't think Vasky's going to get the get it locked up. He's actually about, might get reversed here as Bo Vasky is Haight trying to come up, and we'll see if they give him one point or not. And they are going to give him one point, so it's going to be a one-point escape here for Haight. Tim Tutton has Grayson Dahl on his back. Dahl got in on a double and tried to set uh, set Tutton to his backside as he went down to the mat. Tutton elevated him and then came out on top. He's got five seconds left to try and get to the fall. The referee's looking close. The freshman's really fighting out of it. And we're going to go to the, we're going to go to the uh, second period now. That's a three-point near fall. It's nine to two in favor of Tim Tutton. Tell you what, he came out of that. Uh, Grayson Dahl was in deep. 
Two to one as we go to the second period here with Baskey and Haight. This is Trevor Haight as he is a fret, excuse me a junior taking on the the senior Baskey and again a double underhook here by Haight. He wants to throw Baskey. Baskey's going to launch him over the edge of the mat. I tell you what, that headlock is there for Bo Baskey as the pressure just keeps coming forward. It's two to one. Baskey leads it here. As we're in the second period, high crotch attempt here by Haight. Vasky's going to try to fight it off, but Haight is going to try drive Vasky here off the edge of the mat. Vasky's got to square up with him here as he's going to pick up and come around front. Double leg attempt now by Vasky. Front headlock for Haight off, right off the edge of the match. Now Bo Vasky's going to pick up a double leg. He's going to step out of bounds. No points as Vasky goes out of bounds and brings Haight down to the mat, and he is down for the count as he's holding his stomach right around the midsection there as he was brought down two to one here with 110 left to go in the second period. Jamie on the far side Tim Tutton took a long double shot just straight in and got a little bit extended and the uh, freshman Grayson Dahl uh, snapped, snapped and uh, just caught him underneath and spun around and picked up this first two point takedown for uh, Solon, there's a nice uh, escape. Let's see if Tutton can score the one point off of it. Might get a two point reversal. He got a two point reversal. 53 seconds left to go. And Coach Voss up out of his seat saying, hey, stay behind the arms, control hips, chop an arm. There's a sit out turn in by Dahl. And a nice chop, tight waist, head lever now by Tutton. He's got the left arm. Oh, he got too high, then you let him go. Oh, you got that head lever, Jamie. You gotta keep that head lever. So Bo Vasky leads it 2-1 to one here as we're going to go back. The official heads over to the table. Nice job by our officials so far here tonight as we got Jim Buxton from the Iowa City area and Jeff Francis with us here officiating tonight's meet as the Hawks lead at 24-15. We're wrestling varsity on two mats now as Bo Vasky and Trevor Haight back to action now. Tim Tutton is going to come out of that in a headlock with 10 seconds left to go as Dahl had Tutton's leg up and a hard wizard by Tutton. There's a foul by Tim Tutton in 358. Tim Tutton will win by a foul in 358. That'll give the uh, West Delaware Hawks six more, making it 30 to 15. This is gonna be Joel Ott. Joel Lott up for the varsity here over on 152. So Riley Ryan got the nod in that first duel. Joel, Joel Ott is going to get it. the nod here in the second one, taking on freshman Trevor Nelson, who comes in here. He's got a pretty impressive record on this young season, 14-2, 15-2 after a win in the first one. As Bo Vasky still 2-1 to one over here with Trevor Haight with 27 seconds left to go in the second period as they're back to action. That's going to be a takedown, 10-second takedown on that far side for Nelson over Joel Ott, and he leads it two to nothing. And this Trevor Nelson, Jamie, is only a freshman, and I'm telling you what, uh, he's a physical, he's a physical freshman wrestling 152. He's 15 and two, like you said, that's pretty impressive. That's Hate. pretty impressive for a freshman. Hate in on a high crotch here with short time, five seconds left to go in this second period. He's going to pick it up. Vasky's going to try to step over the legs of Hate. He might pick up two point takedown there. There he did. They gave him two. Right as time expired here, and Bo Vasky is going to take a 4-1 to one lead into period number three, and it will be... It'll be Vasky's choice. He's going to choose down to start the third period with a 4-1 to one lead. Joel Ott underneath Trevor Nelson on the far mat. N Nelson working a... trying to work a butcher. He's got the left arm of Nelson wrapped underneath of him and tries to uh, throw him to his back, and Joel Ott does a nice job staying belly down. Now... Nelson circling the head from right to left of Joel Ott and trying to take Ott to his back. Bo nice Vasky. job with the butcher. Bo Vasky's going to give up a tilt here as a banana split by Haight turns Vasky over. He's going to pick up near fall points. I'm not sure if he got a three or five count or not, but Vasky might pick up a reversal. He does. It's going to be a three-point near fall and a two-point reversal for Bo Vasky. So it's going to be six to four in favor of Vasky. Now a tilt attempt by Vasky. He's picking up near fall points with a minute 30 left to go in the second period. And Joel Ott pinned, or Trevor Nelson pins Joel Ott in 123. He went from that butcher to a head, to a headlock and pinned Joel Ott, pinned the junior from West Delaware. 
So the Solon Spartans will pick up six more there. Now the score is 30 to 21. And Bolbaski so. with 50. Five seconds left to go. He leads it eight to four as he picked up two point near fall with that tilt. Now he gets high again as Bo Vasky is he's got to keep it under control here as he's he keeps getting high as I believe that's Alex Reitz up for the Hawks. Coming up for the Hawks at 160 pounds. So it looks like uh, Jake Voss will move up and wrestle 170. And then we'll probably see Brett Lambers at 182. We'll just kind of have to see. There's a nice double leg takedown by Reitz. Got him deep at 160. He is wrestling Josh Bender. Potentially dangerous over here by with Bo Vasky as there's 37 seconds left to go in this match. He leads it 8-4. to four. The Hawks lead the dual meet 30-21 to 21 here on Parents Night, Senior Night. We had a light show earlier to start this thing off. And the Hawks giving the home crowd a good show here. Alex Reitz giving the home crowd a good show here as he has Bender on his back. He's got a reverse half Nelson. He's got to settle in. Bender in a high bridge. Reitz is trying to go chest to chest. Re uh, Bender in a high bridge. And uh, he's got to settle his chest back. He's got 107 left to get the job done. That is quite a bridge by the senior from Solon. There's the fall right there in 58 seconds by Alex Reitz. And Bo Vasky with 15 seconds left to go in this third period. He leads it 8-4 to four over Trevor Haight. They go out of bounds. This match seems like it's taken forever with all the falls on the other mat. So you will see Jake Voss up on the far side as he will be taking on Nick Bailey at 170 pounds. They'll move Lammers up to wrestle Danny Whitmore, the senior from Solon. So Bo Vasky, five seconds left to go in that match. He might pick up some more near fall here as he leads it 8-4. to four. He is going to pick up near fall, and that should do it in that match. He's going to pick up three, and Bovaski's going to win that match 11-4. to four. Nice job by Bovaski. That is a nice job. That's a, that's a big win for, for the senior from West Delaware. Over on the far side, Jake Voss with a big-time throw of Nick Bailey picked up a two and two on it. I'll tell you what, uh, he gave, uh, he gave uh, Nick Bailey, the junior, he launched him as Bailey was giving him straight line pressure, he launched Bailey to his back and couldn't quite pick up the fall. Get my scorecard caught up here. And we're back to action here with 108 left to go. Jake Voss. Jake Voss with a nice tilt, but uh, Bailey's going to be off the edge of the mat. All right, 39 to 21 is our dual meet score. We knew this would be a little bit closer uh, than the Makokota duel as uh, Solon, Solon has some quality wrestlers in their lineup. They've got good depth. They've got every, every weight field. You won't see any four foots here. Every weight field. And I tell you what, when we get done with this dual meet here tonight, we will catch up. Roger will catch up with all the seniors as we do every year on senior night. Here's Brent Lammers with the takedown. We'll get back to that as Lammers picks up a takedown, and he's going to catch... Danny Whitmore on his back. He's picking up near fall, looking for the fall. Whitmore fighting off. Lammers trying to, he's just got a body lock on him. There's the fall for Brent Lammers. 44, 44 second. second fall for Lammers. There's Jake Foss with the fall. Double fall, 136. 136. Roger, you're going to have to get that pencil moving a little faster as the Hawks, a double fall here. Lammers in 44, Voss in 136. And all of a sudden, it's 51 to 21 in favor of the Hawks going into the last match. And we're going to see Scott Taylor up for the Hawks, the final senior to wrestle here tonight for the Hawks. Tell you what, that's, uh, that's exactly what you like to see. That double-double, that was almost simultaneously slapping the mat there. And uh, tell you what, uh, two fine wrestlers there getting the job done. Getting the job done for the West Delaware Hawks. Hawks have been on a roll, and again, once that uh, pin bug starts, I'll tell you what, that thing is hard to stop. If you can get that rolling, and rolling early, that's what you like to see. Well, Scott Taylor, we'll see if he's got some offense going here. He's going to be taking on Max Turkle. Max Turkle is a senior for Solon. 
And this is our final uh, final match of the night. Uh, Nine o'clock is all, Jamie. So uh, that was that's what I was saying. What we talked about, Roger. You'll catch up with all the seniors. Kind of, there's 12 of them, so we're going to have to shorten it to our what we normally do is we're going to have 12 seniors to talk to. So you'll talk to them, catch up with them. They'll let you know what their future plans are, their favorite memories as a hawk, and um, we'll hear from the seniors tonight as it is senior night. And these guys last meet here regular season wise at the Seedorf Gymnasium and uh, while we got a second, Scott Taylor is going to give up a two point takedown with 105 left to go in this first period but while I got a second I'd like to send out well wishes and to my grandmother, big Hawk wrestling fan, Judy Zier listening tonight as uh, she had a, minor, a little surgery I guess it's not a minor surgery, had surgery yesterday and uh, she's home recovering so we wish her the best of luck and hope to see her at some wrestling meets uh, coming up here before too long as uh, she usually lives for this grind they call the second half of the season. So hope to see her back here shortly in the Seedorf Gymnasium as we'll be back here for sectionals this year. And uh, more Hawk wrestling for you. Hopefully she can get back and best of luck to you, Grandma. And listen to do what you're supposed to do and listen to the doctors and Grandpa, I guess. That's exactly <laughs> right. And you. Yeah. <laughs> you too. Eat your vegetables, keep your fluid up, and uh, rest and relax. Nice stand up there by Scott Taylor off the edge of the mat, though. It's 2-0, Max Turkle. Max Turkle is a senior for the Solon Spartans. And uh, we talked about um, Scotty Taylor developing that offense. We know he's good underneath, uh, but uh, there's a stand-up turn in. Turkle locks, locks up around him and a body lock, a back trip, and off the edge of the mat they go. Work that hand control. Get back to your feet. Work that hand control. And uh, develop some offense on your feet. 22 seconds left to go. Again, the Hawks will win this dual meet. It's 51 to 21 right now, but they certainly would like to win this last match of this uh, dual meet. And uh, there's Max Turkle. He had Scott Taylor going to his back. This guy had a chicken wing on the right side of Taylor, and I'll tell you what, uh, Scott Taylor's got to work some hand control, and he's got to keep fighting underneath, and that's exactly what Coach Voss says. He can't lay around on the bottom. And Taylor's choice, he's going to choose down, and it's 2-0. You've got to score at least one here. Two would be better, one, one for sure. Get moving, there's an outside stand-up by Taylor, and Turkle grabs a, an ankle, far ankle, Tight waist, knocks Taylor back down to his stomach. And now a hard tight waist by the senior from Solon. With the left, a hard cross face with the right, cross face from right to left, right across the bridge of Taylor's nose. And Taylor needs to work some hand control here, Jamie. He's not doing anything with his hands. He's on all fours. He's on his hands and on his knees. And that made it easy for Turkle to chop that left arm or that right arm and set a chicken wing up with it. Now 126 left to go, second period. There's a chicken wing by Turkle. Taylor's going to look right into that chicken wing. He looked right into the chicken wing, Jamie. He goes right to his back, and Turkle's going to end up with a fall right there. I'll tell you what, that made it easy. Two minutes and 45 seconds. So we're going to be uh, we're going to be over here, but the Hawks are going to win that, 51 to 27. And uh, they will improve, West Delaware will improve to 14 and seven now. But I'll tell you what, you, you wanna end that. You had two, you had a double, you had a double fall with Lammers and Voss. And now you need to, if you're Scott Taylor, you need to take that momentum into that match and you need to get out of it. Well, let's uh, take a short break here. We'll tally up our uh, stats from dual meet number two. And then we'll be right back with you. So stay with us. You're listening to Hold by Hold, wrestling action, Womack style from the Seedorf Gymnasium here on the West Delaware campus on Eastern Iowa Sports Station, Mix 94.7 KMCH. Let's make the score 24 to 15. 138, Bo Vasque in a very tight match against Trevor Haight. Vasque poured it on in the third period to win 11 to four, giving the Hawks three more, 27 to 15. Weight class, Tim Tutton, we saw him in action, dropping one from 152 to 145 using four takedowns and pinning the freshman from Solon, Grayson Dahl, in 358. That gave the Hawks six more, 33 to 15. Weight class 152, 
Trevor Nelson, the outstanding freshman, improving to 16-2 on the year, winning by a fall over Joel Ott from West Delaware, making the score 33-21. to Weight class 160, Alex Reitz, nice takedown, nice double leg takedown, winning by a fall over Josh Bender in 58 seconds, making the score 39-21. to Weight class 170, Jake Voss moving up, giving up a little bit of weight to Nick Bailey, but Voss winning by a fall in 136, making the score 45 to 21. Brent Lammers also giving up a little bit of weight. Weight class 182 moving up to fill in for Coy Russell. Lammers winning by a fall in 44 seconds, making the, hall fifth, making the score 51 to 21. And then rounding out the night, Scott Taylor, a tough, uh, tough uh, luck loss to Max Turco, losing by a fall in 245. That gave the Solon Spartans their final six points of the evening, making our final score 51 to 27. West Delaware had nine wins to Solon's five. The difference in this match was the pins. West Delaware had eight pins. They doubled up Solon. Eight out of their nine wins, they had eight pins. Solon having four falls tonight. In the takedown derby, West Delaware having 19 takedowns to 13 for Solon. No major decisions by either uh, a team tonight, no tech falls, and that made the final score 51 to 27. So the Hawks go 2-0 and tonight, improving to 14-7, and dual meet record and keeping their lead in a Walmack East, trying for that Walmack East title. So I'll tell you what, we've got uh, uh, Jamie Vasquez is rounding out, uh, rounding up Coach Voss, and uh, I'll tell you what, uh, We've got a great opportunity here. One of the things that we started many years ago is talking to our seniors on senior night. And uh, we've got 12 of them, so we're going to have to hustle through. Uh, but we want to give the uh, want to give opportunity for these seniors to uh, give us a little bit of insight. Our first senior uh, in the hot seat tonight, Connor Wickman. Uh, Connor Wickman, congratulations, and uh, a great night tonight. Thank you. Well, just a couple of quick questions here since there are so many of you. Uh, Connor, um, um, uh, you spent uh, four years as part of this West Delaware program. Uh, give us a couple things that you're that you, you're going to take with you when you leave this. What are some things you're going to take with you as you as you leave the West Delaware program? What are a couple of your memories? Um, wrestling at state duels last year was a huge memory. I'd have to say, um, just being a part of the West Delaware team and almost being a family really means a lot. Well, we saw that last week at the dual meet with the core where we, we brought all the, all the uh, veterans back, all the alumni back, and uh, that was a great family atmosphere. So um, you're exactly right. Uh, uh, let's let our, uh, our listening listeners out there, uh, what are your plans for next year? Um, going to Kirkwood to study egg business um, and come back and be a farmer. Oh, that sounds like uh, great plans. Well, uh, Connor, we know uh, the season's not over yet. Uh, what are a couple things uh, left on your goal sheet? that you've got you've to be able to mark off when the season is over. Win a state title for a team and just do good at the state tournament as an individual. Well, very good. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Connor Wickman, our, our senior number one for the West Delaware Hawk. Connor, thank you and best wishes. Keep wrestling tough. And uh, I've got a lot of wrestling to go and a lot of good things left in store. All right, thank you. Well, there you go. Up, up next in our hot seat tonight, we've got... Uh, We've got outstanding and undefeated uh, uh, West Delaware senior Patrick Woods, the 113-pounder. Uh, Patrick, uh, great job tonight. A couple of quick quick falls tonight. It looked like you were just uh, revving your engine a little bit out there. You wanted to get it over quick, and uh, you got the job done. A couple of first period falls. Uh, the first one, or, uh, you got a 125, and Jamie took my last sheet there. I think the other one was also a first period fall. Uh, was that your uh, 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 was that your motivation tonight? Get it over quick. Um, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to go out and wrestle good at our last home duel. Uh, that's important. You have senior night here. You have parents night. You've got a big crowd. And uh, the last time in a dual meet in this gym, it won't be your last time wrestling in this gym, but you're really your last dual wrestling here. And you've got a couple of nice falls to, uh, to uh, uh, put there in your record book. Um, same, same question. Um, uh, what, what are the goals yet you have to you won a state title last year you know great thing Jamie and I were there that was that was a lot of fun um, I'm sure that's on your list again to uh, to uh, redo it yep uh, just trying to repeat myself from last year at Walmack and state and finish the year out strong well certainly Jamie and I love watching you wrestle up here and uh, it's been a lot of fun for us 
Uh, what, what's in your future? Some more wrestling, uh, some college uh, down the line. What, what do you got in plans? Um, I plan on going to college. I'm still undecided about wrestling. Um, I'll probably decide that after the season. Yeah, well, that sounds good. What are you going to take with you, uh, uh, Patrick? You've, you've, you've left your stamp on this program. Uh, what are a couple of uh, things you're really going to remember about putting the orange and black singlet on? Um, probably just the camaraderie and uh, kind of the family aspect we have with all the fans and coaches and teammates. Well, you're exactly right, and you're the second person that's mentioned family. And uh, you know, all you got to do is go to a tournament, go to the state tournament especially, and you see the uh, Hawk faithful um, supporting you. Uh, like nobody else, so uh, that, that, that really is a neat thing. So, Patrick, best wishes, finish out the season strong. Jamie and I are going to be following you along tournament trail, so get after it. Sounds good, thanks. All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Patrick Woods, senior number two. And now we've got, um, we've got Riley Ryan up here, senior number three uh, for the West Delaware mm -hmm. Hawks. Uh, uh, Riley, uh, um, tough match. Uh, you, you, again, you're giving it up for the team tonight, moving up, giving up some weight. Yep. Russell 152. Uh, did Coach Voss just come and say, uh, Riley, uh, could you do this for us? Or did you say, Coach, I'm the man tonight? Yeah, he came up and asked me if I could do it tonight because we had some skin issues. And I'm like, yeah, I'll give it a shot. So. Well, Jamie and I talked about that. Uh, that's kind of been your MO through the course of your career here. If you need somebody to take that spot or fill in and get the job done, um, you've been kind of the guy they counted on to do that. And that's, uh, that's a good thing. Everybody needs, every team needs uh, wrestlers that are willing to step in and uh, fill in and uh, get the job done. And, and I want to commend you for doing that because that's a, that's a pretty neat thing. Well, uh, same thing. What's, uh, what's a couple of things you're going to take uh, out of the program? You're a senior. You've wrestled here for a long time. Uh, what's a couple of your favorite memories? Uh, a couple of my favorite memories is getting down to wrestle at state duels was pretty cool for me. And sophomore year, I was able to come away with a win in the Atlantic duel. So that was a high point in my career. I like that was fun. And... Just getting to wrestle on varsity all e on every year I've been in high school so far and get some varsity matches is fun. Well, that's, uh, that's a neat thing. And, uh, again, Jamie and I have appreciated everything you've given to the West Delaware wrestling program. Um, a couple of goals left. What's, uh, what's, on your, uh, what's on that goal sheet that you fill out that uh, you want to accomplish yet this year? I'd like to uh, finish out the year on strong and hopefully get a chance to wrestle in sectionals and maybe advance the district. So just hope to uh, finish out good this year and keep going on to other sports all right very good what's in your future plans you got some college you got some work you got uh what's going on yep plan on going to iowa state for a uh, egg degree oh, that a boy that's uh they got one of the best programs around so uh, uh you'll probably look good in in the uh, crimson and gold yeah as well as you do in the black and gold oh yeah so or orange and go orange and black excuse me orange <laughs> and black orange yep. and black so well great job tonight and uh, great job through the course of the season. We wish you the best, and uh, uh, keep it going. All right, thank you. Well, there you have it, Riley Ryan, West Delaware Hawks senior. Again, uh, doing a great job for the Hawks tonight. Next senior we have up is Mason Steffen. And uh, uh, Mason, uh, um, again, your senior night here, Russ in front of a home crowd. What's that feel like, stepping out on that mat tonight? Oh, it's awesome with all these fans behind you, you know, cheering. Get them on their back. Everybody's standing up cheering for you. It's a great feeling. A little bittersweet knowing it's the, it's the last time you'll have a duel in front of the crowd. Yeah, you know, you always want to be back here at, at home wrestling in front of your home fans. But, you know, it's got to come to an end sometime. So. How fast have these four years gone for you? Too fast. Way too fast. It catches up with you in a hurry. Yeah, and all of a sudden it's here, and, uh, you know, you're senior, you're wrestling out here, you're with your parents and being recognized for your, your contribution to the program, and uh, I know that means a lot. Mm -hmm. What are you going to take from the program? What, uh, you, you spent a lot of time in the singlet, you spent a lot of time in the, in the wrestling room, uh, you've developed some great friendships. Uh, what are a couple things you're going to take with you? Definitely this sense of family here at West Delaware, you know, after, after being a wrestler, coming back to all these meets, and hanging out with all the friends from the wrestling team and everything like that. Well, we saw the, uh, all the alumni um, last week in the decor meet. Uh, you're going to put yourself right in, that, uh, uh, right in that category now as a, as a West Delaware alumni wrestler. So uh, next year we'll be able to honor you when you come back. What are your future plans? What's in store for uh, Mason? Uh, plan on attending Iowa State next year for some engineering field. I'm not sure what not type yet. but. Well, that sounds like uh, that sounds like great plan. So, 
Mason, congratulations. Uh, keep it up and uh, keep working, and uh, best wishes for a good finish to the season. Yep, thank you. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, senior Mason Steffen. And uh, once again, wrestling at 145 for the West Delaware Hawks. Well, next up we have uh, senior uh, Richie Heverin. Richie, um, uh, Jamie and I talked uh, uh, coming into the meet tonight, 11 and 6. You, you were 1 and 1 tonight. Uh, you're you're, you're uh, 12 and 7 right now. Um, never put on a single before, never stepped out on the mat. And uh, what's that feel like? Uh, it's pretty cool. I just, I'm working hard up in the room, trying to get better, just trying to get some experience. I'll just keep getting better with experience. Well, you've certainly, uh, you've certainly been a, a pleasant surprise for not only Jamie and I, but uh, uh, for the whole uh, West Delaware Hawk family. Uh, you won some huge matches. Uh, you wrestled uh, Logan Linder, uh, Linderbaum, is ranked eighth in the state, and uh, ten to six, lost a tough decision, uh, but you went six with him. Um, uh, what, what do you expect out of yourself? When, when you step out on the mat? I uh, just go out there and try my hardest, really. Just want to go out there, just do what I can do. Has the, um, has the wrestling been as hard as you thought it would be? Uh, it's pretty hard. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think it was going to be this hard, but it's, it's tough. Practices are they're tough. It's, get a, it's, a, it's a workout. But you're reaping the benefits right Definitely. now of, uh, of paying the price. Well, what's some, uh, what's some things you're going to take? You, you know, you spend a year, uh, a year in a singlet. Uh, what are some things you're going to take from the West Delaware program? Uh, I'd say work ethic. Just in the room, it's it's just crazy how uh, how hard we work up there. You know, I would never thought that it's that hard, but we work hard, and I'm definitely going to learn from that and get. You know. And what's in your plans for for the future? Um, right now, I'm looking going somewhere and playing football. Not sure yet where, but I'm looking around. Very good. Very good. Well. Congratulations on a great season so far. Best wishes and get after it. Uh, and uh, you're exciting. Uh, you're exciting uh, heavyweight to watch. And uh, um, it's it's been fun. So best wishes. Keep it up. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you down the line there. All right. Thanks. There you have it, Richard Everin, the amazing senior for West Delaware, getting the job done at weight class 285. Well, we've got 220 uh, pounder Will Winger up next on the hot seat. Uh, Will. Uh, Varsity lineup, the regular at 220, what's that mean to get that starting spot in the uh, West Delaware wrestling program? Well, I never really had much chance to get varsity because I was always behind, like, state place winning champions, so it means a lot, and it's w like way tougher than JV. I never really realized how tough it is doing that all the time. And you've wrestled some tough, you've wrestled some tough ones. At 220 pound weight, uh, Lance Evans tonight ranked number one in the state, and uh, pretty tough hombre. You battled out there, yeah. you uh, you you fought, and uh, um, you know you're getting the job done. Now, what are some things you're going to take away from the West Delaware program? You've had that singlet on for a long time, four years and part of the program. Again, like you said, you haven't been the starter till this year. What are some things you're going to take away from the program? Probably a lot of friends that I probably wouldn't really be too close with if I wasn't wrestling and like Richard said good work ethic because it's to me it's pretty tough sure sure well what's in what's in Will's plans what's on your schedule uh, for uh, uh, the future I'm probably going to go into college in one year course for carpentry and then go straight on the job there you go well, that sounds like mm -hmm. a great plan so well great job so far keep fighting and uh, working to win those titles, win those matches, and Jamie and I will be following you through the rest of the season and, and just get after it. Great job so far. Thank you. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Will Wenger, the senior 220-pounder for the West Delaware Hawks. Next up in the Hawks hot, uh, hot seat, the Hawk hot seat, 138-pounder Bo Vasky. Uh, uh, Bo, great job. You had a, you had a, a tough match with Trevor Haight from Solon. Um, it was close to the third period, then you gassed him. Uh, you ended up winning that 11 to 4, uh, solid match tonight at 138 on senior night. Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, I got caught in a splato in that match, and I was just didn't give up. I guess I went out there. I knew we had to have that match, and just fought as hard as I could to get off my back and score more points. Well, you certainly did a fine job of getting the job done and uh, putting the Hawks in the, in the lead for good after after your win. Um, you know, you, you wrestled a little varsity last year. You've been a solid varsity wrestler this year. Um, uh, what's that mean 
to, to, to get that singlet, to, to put it on as a senior, to wrestle out here on senior night in front of a great crowd. Uh, w what's that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. I mean, having my dad come through here too and trying to follow in his footsteps and be, I don't know, get that state title as a team like they did back in 91. And it just excites me a lot to be able to help the team out with the varsity spot. Sure. What's on your goal card? I know you guys work on your goals and things that you want to accomplish. What does uh, what does Bo Vasky want to accomplish before this career is over? Uh, Walmart champ, and then place at state, qualifying place at state. Well, those are some those are some great goals. Um, what's in your future? Once you take the singlet off, uh, are you going to put the singlet back on and maybe think about wrestling next year, or what? Uh, what are you going to do? Uh, right now, my plan is to go to Kirkwood for ag production management. Uh, but yeah. That's Shutting the lights off on us here. Yeah. So, well, that sounds great. Well, well, Bo, great job. Great match tonight. Exciting match. Uh, again, uh, we'll look forward to calling some of your matches as we progress through the course of the season. And uh, best wishes to you. And uh, bring that hardware home. Thank you. There you go. Mr. Bo Vasky, 138-pounder for the West Delaware Hawks, one of the 12 seniors. And now uh, we went from big to little. I guess uh, we've got a couple big ones left. Now up next is 126-pounder Sam Phillips. Uh, Sam, uh, uh, great job tonight. Uh, that second match, uh, wrestling Trevor Yar, a pretty respectable uh, a wrestler from Solon. Um, you got out of a couple of great, you were in a couple of great scramble situations. And uh, Jamie and I have talked about that through the course of the season, how much your scrambling has improved. And you're like a cat. You always come up with your, with your head up and your feet up and and uh, you come out of those scrambles. Have you spent a lot of time working on that? Oh, yeah. We had that scramble camp here this fall and picked up some stuff. And move I hit tonight, kind of been waiting for to hit. I was pretty excited when I hit it, and it's just fun. It's more the crowd exciting. was excited, too. You probably couldn't hear it, yeah. but this crowd, that had a lot of oohs and ahs to it. So, yeah, my uh, mom doesn't really like it. <laughs> um, there's a lot of things moms don't like about wrestling. I'm sure you've figured that yeah. out already. But, uh, you know, she's here to support you. Well, Senior Parents Night, Senior Night here at the, at the Hawk Gymnasium. Uh, tell us about the excitement and what that means to, uh, to wrestle here on your last scheduled dual meet. Uh, it's just a lot of fun because we have great support from the community and the student section. And it's just there's a lot of tradition here. Yeah, you're exactly right. What are you going to take from the West Delaware program? When you leave here, when you walk out the door, you close the door to the wrestling room, what's Sam Phillips going to take away uh, as a learning experience? Uh, probably that if you work hard, good things are going to happen. And that's just, we work real hard, and, you know, it's going to be the toughest thing you ever do. So uh, That's true. A lot of truth to that. What's in your plans? Uh, I'm going to go to college, study engineering. Not sure if I'm going to wrestle or not. I haven't quite decided. I see you've done very well academically, and that's a, that's a good start. So you've got the great combination. Uh, you're a great student. You're a great wrestler. And Jamie and I love to watch you uh, wrestle and call your matches. Uh, keep it up. Get after it. And uh, we'll look forward to uh, following you down the road as we, uh, as we uh, finish the season up. Awesome. Thanks. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Sam Phillips, 126-pounder for the West Delaware Hawks, getting the job done tonight, picking up two wins. Next up in the hot seat is 160-pounder, uh, 170-pounder, both tonight, uh, senior Jake Voss. And uh, uh, Jake, uh, congratulations. A couple of great matches tonight on senior night here, one at 160, one at 170, and uh, picking up a couple of falls. How's that feel tonight in front of this big crowd, senior night? You got people screaming and yelling. You got uh, mom and dad a little nervous, you know, a little, little um um, melancholy tonight, knowing that uh, it's senior night. Uh, tell us about that. Uh, well, it was a pretty cool experience for me. And, uh, you know, I remember as a kid coming to these meets and seeing how excited the crowds was getting and how excited I was getting. <laughs> and, <laughs> uh, you know, it was cool to be a part of it now, finally. And felt uh felt good to get those two wins and come out on top. Has the time gone slow for you? Has the time gone fast? Oh, God, it flew by. Uh, I can remember thinking, geez, I'll never be a senior in high school. And sure enough, this is it. And, uh, yeah, it flew by pretty quick. You're here. You're yeah, here. And right. you're getting the job done. What's on your goal list? What, what, things, do, what, what things do you want to, to get done yet before you take that orange and black singlet off? Well, I, I want to get that state championship. Uh, it's something I've always wanted. Um, you know, that's 
you know, the wind record would be big, but, uh, you know, that's not really a big concern of mine. But, yeah, definitely state championship. That's my that's my main goal right that's now. That's the main goal right now. You're working you're working hard to get there. Um, what's in your future plans? You know, you're, you're a great all-around athlete, uh, great on the football field, the baseball field. Uh, I don't know if you run track or not, but you probably could. Um, of course, you're an outstanding wrestler. Uh, what's, uh, what's in Jake's plans? You know, I um, haven't really thought about it too much. I'm looking to play baseball or wrestle. Um, don't know what college yet, but uh, that's the decision I need to make here, and that'll be coming up pretty soon. So. All right. Well, very good. Well, Mr. Uh, Happy Hips, go ahead. Can I give a shout-out to Matt Wanger? He told me to give him one before he left. Yeah, I, guess, here, so. I guess you could. <laughs> Jamie said that's okay. Yeah, and, so. and a thanks to Jamie because yeah. uh, he kind of lets me whoop up on him in Mario yeah. Kart every now and then. So. Well, that, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, Mr. Happy Hips, uh, that's kind of what we, we affectionately have, have named you up here. Um, thanks for the memories so far. and We're looking forward to some great things uh, in the upcoming dual meets. You've got a tough tournament on Saturday to get ready for, and then uh, uh, a short time, and, and we'll be talking about Walmack yeah. tournament. All right. Hey, thanks, Roger, and thanks, Jamie, for doing there you all go. you do. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jake Voss, 160, 170-pounder for the West Delaware Hawks. And uh, next up is uh, Tim Tutton. 152 now 145 uh, uh, uh tim you sacrificed for the team you dropped to 145 tell us about that just a little bit um it was difficult at first i had to cut like 12 pounds in two days to first make the scratch weight and then it was pretty easy after that but i just want to get that first win out of the way and it happened tonight so it's pretty good felt pretty good to get the win but you got the fall to go with it you yep. came out of a nice scramble came out on top and uh, got the fall and that was a huge fall because that put the uh, uh, that put the match out of the way, 33 to 15, and uh, uh, that was a that was an outstanding uh, job. Uh, wrestling a pretty good freshman at uh, 145 from Solon. Um, you got the varsity spot this year. What are some things that you're most pleased about uh, so far? Uh, I think I've been working pretty hard in the room and just trying to get to my goals that I want to achieve this year, and just doing my best to get there. And what are those goals that you've got? Set? Um. I've always wanted to be a state qualifier, and it looks like I have a good shot at 145. That's the reason I dropped, but just continue to get better. And there's some work to do yet. Yep. Yeah, exactly. What's in your plans? Uh, when you take that singlet off for the last time and you, you, know, you walk out the door, um, what's your plans? What, are you, what, are you gonna, what do you think you're going to do? Um, I'm hoping to attend Upper Iowa University and play either baseball or football. I haven't decided yet. Well, that's an outstanding place to be, and... Great competition up there, and uh, you'll probably look good as a peacock. Yeah. Maybe not as good as a hawk, but peacock will be okay. Mm -hmm. All right, Tim, congratulations. Best wishes. Get after it. Thank and uh, you. Jamie and I will be following you down the, the rest of the season, and uh, great job. Keep after it. Yep, thank you. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Tim Tutton, 145-pound varsity wrestler for the West Delaware Hawks. Two to go. Number 11, Scotty Taylor, wrestling 195. Uh, uh, Scotty, thanks for joining us tonight. And... Uh, um, again, Russell 195, big shoes to fill, and uh, you've done a great job so far. Tell us about uh, tell us about that pressure. Did you have any pressure coming in at 195 um, um, uh, to get the job done for the Hawks? Well, I don't think I did this year because I kind of stepped up and did it last year too. So I thought I could do the same thing again, maybe do a little better at it. And uh, um, you had a tough uh, Max Turkle from Solon. Um, a pretty good, uh, pretty good opponent there, and uh, you've been in some tough matches this year. What are some things that uh, you're most pl proud of? You're most pleased with so far this, uh, as the season's about at halfway point. Um, that I've gotten a lot more varsity wins than I usually do, and um, helping me work hard at day, every day at practice, help achieve my goals, and hopefully get the team's goals too. What are some of those goals that you're still uh, working, working toward? Um, hopefully I can be a state qualifier for West Delaware. Well, very good. As you, as you think about your, your time you spent as part of this program, what are a couple things you're going to take away as being a, a West Delaware Hawk wrestler? Oh, there's a lot of things. Um, having the ability to work out with and be along with one of the best coaching staffs ever. And um, it's just amazing. They like taught me almost pretty much everything about this sport and a lot more about how to work hard and everything. Well, those are all tremendous things and great compliments, and Jamie and I would wholeheartedly agree with that. So um, 
Uh, Scott, what's in your future plans? What are you, what are you going to be doing? Um, I'm not 100% sure yet, but uh, I might go to University of Northern Iowa or uh, Kirkwood, or I might go uh, to the University of Buke and throw some shot put. Well, there you go. Great plans, great, uh, great things to be doing. Well, Scott, thanks. Uh, Jamie and I, again, will follow you down the, down the remainder of this season, and best wishes to you. Get after it, and uh, you know, keep working hard and bring that title home. Yep, thanks. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, 195-pounder Scotty Taylor for the West Delaware Hawks. Senior number 12, 132, 126. Wherever you want to put you, it's Mr. Zach Meyer. Zach will fill in. Zach, uh, a great job tonight. you got a fall out here on the mat. And uh, senior parents night, uh, you know, you, this is the last, last duel of the season for you to be at home. Uh, what's that feel like to, to think about, man, this is the last one? Well, um, it's, it's tough. I mean, it's over after this year. It, it's uh, something that will never, ever come slow enough. It's, it's been a long, fun ride. And a quick ride. You know, I was yeah. talking about the seniors, you know, all of a sudden you, you're a freshman and then all of a sudden a senior. Has the time gone by quickly for you also? Well, it, it didn't at first. And then I started to realize, you know, you, you don't get it anymore after that. So the more I started to realize that and started to think, you know, I need to make a game plan for a one-time shot that, yeah, it started to speed up quite a bit. I didn't have as much time as I thought. Exactly. What are a couple life lessons you're going to take away from being part of the West Delaware wrestling family? Oh boy. Ah, <laughs> uh, geez, you can't, you can't even start to pick a bunch. Um, I don't know. My number one thing is probably just working hard and building a work ethic for out in the real world, and you just can't you can't quit ever. You just can't. Well, that's the thing Jamie and I have appreciated when we call in your matches about your never give up. You know, if it's a, if it's a third period with 15 seconds left, you're still going to be fighting. You're still going to be wrestling. You're still going to be giving it up. Uh, how, how do you develop that? Um, that has actually not come from wrestling. That has come from my condition um, of having cystic fibrosis and um, some very early running. Um, I ran when I was in kindergarten along with wrestling put those two together and having that all of it together you just it puts you in tight spots sometimes and you just got to keep going and it just developed into a it just developed into something that you have to do did you ever think you were not going to be able to wrestle you know been so busy making sure that I am always fighting that I've never thought of it well that's one thing Jamie and I have appreciated is when you step out on the mat, you're going to give, uh, you're going to empty the tank. You know, you're going to empty the tank, and we've seen you do that. We've seen you win some big matches. Uh, we've seen you step in and, and uh, be the next man in, and uh, you've done a great job, and we want to compliment you on, on that. What's in Zach's plans for, uh, for next year? Kirkwood. Um, right away, and then from there, I'll see if I can maybe transfer Iowa State or Iowa. I'm looking into some... Um, science technologies so. all right we're well, very good well zach thanks yeah you've done a great job and uh we're going to follow you down the line here and we'll just kind of see what happens and best wishes to you yep. and again uh, great job for the west Delaware hawks all right thank you well there you have it senior number 12 ladies and gentlemen Ooh. zach meyer and i'll tell you what uh jamie it's awful special when you gotta wipe that sweat off your headgear it's awful special you know when you get uh, you get four or five seniors that stay with the program, but it's, you know, it's, it's unheard of that you get 12 seniors in this day and age where everybody's got stuff they got to be doing. I got to work. I got to get ready for college. I got to do this. I got to do that. You get 12 seniors that uh, have stayed with the program and that are fighting and still working to make the team better. Well, I tell you what, just talking to Coach Voss down there, uh, you know, he said he, he gives credit to these kids and have a lot of respect for these kids to go through this West Delaware wrestling program and stick with it for four years uh, is, is tough to do. I mean, wrestling is a grueling sport. Uh, the practices are, are very grueling, and you're, and you're doing it every day uh, for four or five months, and sometimes some kids do it year-round, and they're they're always going. It's a demanding sport. You know, you talk about it, some kids, uh, 
may drop not come out they want to start getting a job and preparing for school but i tell you what for 12 guys to stay out in this program and in this wrestling community um is, is pretty tough and you got to give those kids respect and uh, sounded like they did uh, just wonderful here on the radio tonight well, that's always fun i get a, i get a tremendous amount of pleasure talking to the seniors because uh you know we watch them wrestle we don't uh, necessarily get to talk to them one-on-one -on -one and it's just uh it's just fun to see their insight. It's fun to hear their insight. It's fun to talk to them and get to know them a little bit better. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that is going to do it for us here. As uh, Stay tuned to KMCH tomorrow night as we've got West Delaware girls basketball for you as they will host Center Point Urbana right here in the Seedorf Gymnasium. John Swisher and Bill Logan at about 730. Coach's Corner Saturday morning with John Swisher starting at 9 a.m. And Roger and I will be on KMCH.com starting at around 10 o'clock with the Jerry Eckenrod Bobcat Invitational. We'll have that coverage on KMCH.com in the morning, and then we will jump over at, for the semifinals and the finals starting around 2 o'clock, probably after uh, the basketball game, or the first basketball game that night, or that day, I believe it's Monticello and Iowa City, Regina. And uh, uh, we'll get those guys uh, We'll get on the air with the semifinals and the finals on 94.7 on your radio dial. And uh, then John Swisher is going to have that uh, rivalry Saturday competition for you uh, that afternoon. Is at 1 o'clock. It's going to be Monticello versus Iowa City Regina. And then when we get done, he'll have it. It'll be on KMCH.com, just in progress when we get done off the air. Anamosa versus North Lynn. And then we'll have Independence versus Williamsburg at 8 o'clock on uh, Saturday night from Rivalry Saturday at the U.S. Cellular Center. we got to give a shout-out tonight. Bob Murphy and, and his family out in Las Vegas, uh, sitting in Las Vegas listening to us on uh, KMCH.com on TuneIn Radio, a great app if you want to tune us in while you're on your mobile device. That's TuneIn Radio on the, in the Google Play Store, I believe it is, or on iTunes. You can tune us in uh, from your smartphone and uh, and celebrating Jane's dad's 88th birthday, so happy birthday to him, and a uh, big shout-out to Bob Murphy tonight and Jane and the whole family listening from Las Vegas tonight as we get ready to wrap this thing up. Hey, we want to say a big thank you to Dennis Robertson tonight. He stuck with us all night uh, through, all, uh, through the senior interviews. We had some technical difficulties. He did a great job, got us back up and running tonight. Uh, with without skipping a beat, beat, and we appreciate him running the boards for us this, not, or this evening. And um, most of all, you would like to thank the sponsors of KMCH, all 42 of them, for uh, supporting and letting us put West Delaware Wrestling on the air. Most of all, thank you, the listeners. If you have any suggestions or uh, want to drop us a line, uh, any shout-outs, go ahead and send us an email at sports at kmch.com. That's sports, S-P-O-R-T-S at kmch.com. For my partner, Roger Reed, this is Jamie Vasky saying good night from the Seedorf Gymnasium. Once again, the finals, West Delaware defeats Makoka to 72-9. They defeated Solon 51-27. And don't forget, when you tune us in, we're going to turn you on to the best wrestling action in Eastern Iowa right here on Eastern Iowa Sports Station, Mix 94.7 KMCH. Good night, everybody.